One of the best pieces of content in Black Desert Mobile to showcase your guild's unity is Node War. Node War is content where guilds battle to conquer nodes within a given time on each server. Winning a Node War allows you to occupy the node for a week and conquering a node provides various benefits that lay the foundation for progression. Node War has been renewed for its return and is now better than ever. Let's have a look at the Node War revamp guide right now. First, we'd like to introduce Fortress Siege with new rules that you can experience in the revamped Node War. The Fortress Siege lasts for 20 minutes and there are no holy artifacts for each guild. The spot where the holy artifact used to be now has a guard tower and barricades. It is used as a type of revive point and the guild occupying more fortresses at the end will achieve victory at this node. The fortress can be captured when destroyed. Even after capturing, if attacked by another guild, you might lose the fortress. There are changes to existing nodes as well. First is the enhanced CP limit node. The rules for CP limit nodes, which apply to certain nodes, will be changed. Through this node war revamp, in addition to the previously applied CP limits, new stats will also have a max limit. Node war CP limits help alleviate differences in actual CP, allowing guilds with relatively lower CP or newly created guilds to participate more in node wars than ever before. Originally, once the time limit has passed due to a stalemate, and if you failed to destroy the holy artifact, the node would then be considered liberated and no guild would achieve victory. After the renewal, the outcome will be determined based on the remaining HP of the holy artifact. In addition to the existing cannons, watches, and elephants, new manufacture items for use in node wars are being added. The indomitable flag functions similarly to a respawn point in the battlefield of the sun. It can be summoned by the guildmaster and guild officer at a desired location in node wars but it can only be summoned once per node war. If you select Revive at Indomitable Flag on the Revive waiting screen, you will be revived at the selected location. You can also craft the new Flame Tower and Enhanced Flame Tower. Up to four can be summoned per node war. The Flame Tower allows the operator to set the direction and launch flame attacks. And after using the flame attack three times, you can use an Enhanced Flame Attack that deals greater damage. The roles of the Guild Master and Guild Officer have become even more essential. This is because a feature which allows Guild members to teleport, called Guild Assembly, is being added. The Guild Assembly feature can be used after the 10 minute mark in a node war. Members can teleport without any restrictions for a certain period, allowing them to turn the tide of an unfavorable battle to secure a decisive victory. In addition to the combat elements in Node Wars, there are some improvements for adventurers' convenience. When bidding for a node, the benefits and characteristics of each node will be displayed. During the Node War preparation time, you can replenish lacking weapons and upgrade the level of your structures. Rewards are bound to come with intense battles. Improvements will be made to distribute more guild funds to guild members. Depending on the node, you can receive various buffs, such as increased field combat EXP, increased PvP damage dealt, and increased life EXP. In the revamped Node War, you can obtain the Extravagant Medal of Honor. Bring the Extravagant Medal of Honor to the NPC Ray Poile. The item can be exchanged for items including Brilliant Chaos Unknown Glyph, Embers of Hongik, Void Sent Eye, and more. With the revamped Node War, join your guild members and enjoy more thrilling combat. See you on the battlefield, and thank you for watching.